Hello guys, this is Tom from Kudasol.com. Today I have a pair of Helms boots uh, that just arrived from America. Um, before I start this video, currently Helms boots is doing a promotion 20% off all their boots on their website. So go check it out until uh, this, this promotion runs out. I, have, I'll, I will post a link down below on the description box. So click on that link to go to Helms Boots to purchase Helms Boots at a discounted price. So before I start this video, uh, let me introduce about the brand. So Helms Boots is an American brand founded by a guy called Joshua and he is an Oklahoma native and he basically is a very good businessman i read his bio he also had a coffee business and now he has a i mean shoe manufacturing business maybe i should try create my own shoes as well because i just love boots and shoes uh, but that's another story but yeah it's from america and the boots are well i just got them and i tried them on and i think they're in very good quality in my opinion so the founder is from Oklahoma, but the brand is from Austin, Texas, is currently based there. And it's founded in 2009, and it's a fairly new brand to the market compared to any other brands that boast their history over 100 years or something like that. However, this, this brand is only 13 years old now. Um, so anyone who's watching this, this is fairly new. Probably you haven't heard of the brand, so I'm trying to introduce you to the brand as well. So without further ado, I'll open the box and show you what's inside. <clears throat> it says on the box, this is a pair of helm. There is a shoe bag. I already took a photo shoot outside, so uh, bear in mind that the shoes are already in the shoe bag. They give you a pair of laces as, as well, brown laces. And if I open the sh shoe bag, we go on the right and on the left. So nothing in the shoe bag as well. Very nice cotton shoe bag. I already tried these on, so the laces are on there and then um, they're a bit untied. Um, however, uh, they fit very well for my feet and uh, I got them in 11 EE double EE width. And to be honest, because I do have a weird pinky toe, um, double EE, I think it was a great choice for me. I usually wear UK 11 for my sneakers or UK 10.5 for some of the dress shoes and boots or US 11 for most of my boots such as Whites, uh, Red Wing or any other American, North American branded boots, for example, Viberg as well. As I mentioned with Grand Stone, maybe my instep has increased a bit. Maybe my foot shape has changed because obviously people's uh, foot shape always change. And I mentioned this in the Grand Stone video as well, but the instep part is tiny bit tight. So maybe if you have high instep, go for, uh, I, I would go for 11 and a half with double E because the width is amazing. So my Brennock is usually between 11 and a half and 11. Uh, so would, I would choose true to your Brennock size and width as well, true to your Brennock size. The name of the boots are Zined Boots, Z-I-N-D Boots, and the color is brown. And let me show you the uppers first. So the uppers is all double stitched here, all the way double stitch, double stitch, double stitch, double stitch. That just proves that the boots will last a bit longer and they will be more durable to wear. And these are all fully lined as well. Inside there's a black, probably hip leather or, or, or calf leather. Um, they use inside more or pig leather to be fair. And the outside is a brown colored leather. Helms currently has two leather suppliers. Uh, one is Horine and one is Bermudez leather from uh, Dominican Republic. I know that you guys know that Horine is from USA. Uh, so the Balthazar leather that's currently the upper of the leather of the shoe is a Balthazar leather. And if I don't know if you can see it, maybe I'll try to film a close in video, but the pull up on this, uh, well, actually the thickness is not very thick, which is okay for summer and fall boots, maybe not in the winter. But yeah, the, the leather itself is very durable but it's not a inferior quality leather and I do like how it looks and I do like how it feels on my, uh, my my hand as well when I touch them it's very smooth so I think it will be very easy to shine if you like to shine your boots and uh, they say they use only the full grain that means you can see the grain on the top of the cow I know that there's like a big debate big debate on the 
the difference between full grain, top grain, blah, blah, blah. However, let me just say, you can see the, the grain on the cow uh, or the characteristics on the leather as well. So um, you can see that the leather will be very, very durable. Plus, uh, these are double stitched, as I mentioned before. So therefore, I think it will last you a very long time with the resoling program as well. And I love that the boots have a pull tab. If you watched my video, you guys know how much I love the pull tabs because it makes it so much easier to put the boots on. And the outsole, if you look at the outsole, this part and this part is leather sole and here is leather sole as well. You can see the Helms logo, which is pretty cool. And uh, how, how thick the leather is on the outsole. And this part is rubber. And you can see here Helms boots own white rubber sole here as well, which makes it so much comfier to wear these boots. The boots are not uh, Goodyear welted. I'll show you the video. If you can see the inside, these are rapid Blake stitched. Um, for anyone who doesn't know what rapid Blake stitching is, it's another uh, method to construct a, a pair of boots. And they are similar to uh, Goodyear welt. They can be resold and they are water resistant. However, they use just, just a different method. They will stitch the insoles and outsoles together uh, to combine them and um, you'll be able to feel a bit of a stitching inside if you wear them a bit more. However, it's not an inferior method to build your shoes. It's still a great uh, method to build your shoes and these can be resold. So in theory, if you have these boots in Blake Rapid Stitch, you can get them resold and then they will last you a very, very long time. The boots have seven eyelids and no speed hooks for anyone who hates speed hooks these will be uh, spot on however i wish they had speed hooks because i personally uh, love speed hooks myself but obviously they it doesn't uh, change how comfy the boots is or how you wear the boots it's just that my preference i can get these eyelets out and if i can just go to a local cobbler and ask them to put speed hooks in but yeah the boots have seven eyelids instead of any speed hook and if you want to get them resold by Helms Boots, they do offer a resold program uh, which costs $110 plus $25 shipping. And they will replace the outsole, replace the midsole, uh, replace the foot padding inside, which is very comfy by the way, I just tried them on. And any stitching needed on the upper will be fixed and new insoles and new laces will be provided and the upper uh, obviously because as by the time you wear them the upper will be very disgusting or dirty if you did never take care of, if you are someone who never takes takes care of your shoes um, they said they will uh, clean the upper as well so uh, i think it's a very good deal uh, very cheap compared to to be fair uh, if you go to any local cobbler who I, i've seen a lot of videos or, or, or photos of people boots getting ruined by a unskilled cobbler i know there are a lot of skilled cobblers out there too uh, but if you don't know who to go to you can go to helms for a repair if you want to purchase a pair of helms boots and if you don't know which style to take i think this is a very cool thing i wish the other brands did this too but you can take a style quiz on their website i'll probably uh, leave a link down below as well for the style quiz and it's like a series of quiz that you can take and you can you can find out which boot will suit you the most i did that and i got these there uh, which is probably i'm falling for their marketing scheme but i was just cool and maybe uh, they were correct because i liked how these look another thing that i want to mention about blake stitching or rapid blake stitching is that these are very uh slim or slick uh, i'll compare these with a, another brand trickers actually um, which has goodest stone melt on them and if you look uh, these will, are very very well narrow and, and slick so if anyone likes that kind of look uh, please go ahead and, and buy the rapid stitch and even if you don't like it you know you got to try it and and see how how it fits on you you know um, but I think there are some times when uh, these are are more suitable and the other times where the Goodyear welted or Goodyear stone welted those kind of bulky and chunkier look is more suitable I'm thinking of buying Grenson uh, triple welt actually and it'll be fun to compare how much of the welt comes out for the triple welt and these which is very 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 slim if you look at from look at it from the above it, it actually hides all the welt um, so anyone who doesn't like uh, how the stitching looks I think it'll be a good choice to buy these on the outsole if you look on the outsole on the tip on the toe you can see they have four nails this is for uh, to prevent 
to the tip of the toe to wear out first, uh, which is a very good touch in my opinion. Uh, so you don't have to go to a local cobbler or someone who will uh, do this for you so that the toe part of your outsole does not get worn down very quickly. I think it's a very good touch. And also on the heel side, there is what we call a gentleman's curve in Korea. I don't know if that's a thing uh, to be honest in the West, but we call that. Um, I know that this part is mainly uh, made for basically uh, because olden days they used to take trousers on and off with the shoes on and this part used to well rip the pants or trousers that you're wearing uh, therefore they used to cut this part so that it doesn't it's very smooth and doesn't cut your trousers and I, I just like to see these kind of details on the shoes and uh, just because they're made in Brazil I don't know how Brazilian products are like to be honest because I never really had any uh, products made in Brazil but I think they have very good uh, small characteristics or small touches that that if you look into the boots that they really uh, thought, thought really hard to uh, put many effort into the design and I, th I think that came out very very nicely so anyway guys thank you for watching this video this was tom from kudosold.com please like this video subscribe to my channel i'll come back with more videos so these will be worn and then i'll do a review a video on how they are after i've worn them for a while wear them for a while uh, so stay tuned Thank you guys for watching.